Hello everyone, this is Raheel Janaid, and today I will be covering Camera Raw versus Lightroom Classic. These are two very popular ways of editing and adjusting photos quickly and easily in the programs Photoshop and Lightroom. So, Camera Raw Filter is what it's officially called in the program Photoshop CC, and Lightroom Classic is the whole program itself. So let's start with the Camera Raw Filter. Camera Raw Filter has a lot of pros and cons, but let's just focus on these ones for right now. It's very simple to pick up with any prior knowledge, especially if you come from Lightroom Classic, uh, just because it, bas it has a very similar user interface. And it's a very fast built in editing solution in Photoshop. Uh, what this means is you don't have to go out to a different program using Adobe Dynamic Link. Uh, you can if you want. By different program, I actually mean Lightroom Classic. Everything is all built in and it's very intuitive and fast. It offers many of the same tools that Lightroom Classic does. Lightroom Classic is perceived as the big brother of Camera Raw as it includes very advanced features and so does Camera Raw. It is layer focused, so whatever layer you do select in Photoshop, that layer will be the one that is loaded into Camera Raw. And it is non-destructive, meaning you can undo anything. Many of the things in the filter tab on Photoshop, which is where Camera Raw is located, uh, are not undoable. So this one you can undo, uh, which is really great. The cons, it doesn't offer all the features of Lightroom Classic, which is sort of a bummer because then you do have to go into Lightroom Classic uh, using Adobe Dynamic Link and actually edit your photo there. There is no bulk editing in Camera Raw Filter. Uh, you can't select multiple layers or multiple photos, so you can only use that one layer. And it can become slow sometimes due to Photoshop's nature of becoming slow with multiple filters and layers and uh, many background tasks happening. And now into Lightroom Classic. And it offers bulk editing, which is a feature that is used in Lightroom for time lapses or maybe importing Instagram photos, but it does offer bulk editing, which is a really great tool. It offers intuitive and advanced tools like brushes to adjust certain parts of a photo as it is not layer based and does not actually allow separate layers as as one of the cons it does merge all of the layers it has, does have a very user friendly ui it's not as compact as the camera raw filter and it it's very clear what everything does and it does speed up the workflow time to time uh, using Adobe Dynamic Link. If you do want to edit a photo directly into Lightroom, it actually can speed up your workflow um, instead of staying directly into Photoshop if you do have a really big project. Uh, it's not built into Photoshop, which is the only other con. Now, which one do I prefer? I actually prefer both. You can use Photoshop with separate layers, and that would be the one I would use for any sort of separate layers instead of exporting all of the layers separately and then moving to Lightroom and then bulk editing. Uh, I'd rather do all of it in Photoshop and keep the keep the amount of programs I use simple so I don't actually use up all of my CPU load. And then I would use Lightroom for any other sort of task not involving Photoshop. If I, do, if I want to do a quick edit, Photoshop sometimes takes longer to load, so I would like the snappiness of Lightroom and I would like the bulk editing that Lightroom has to offer. That's the end of my video today. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to drop a like and uh, comment if you would like me to do a full tutorial on Camera Raw Filter and or Lightroom Classic. Make sure to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this and uh, have a great rest of your day.